Sheraton Maui Resort and Spa. It's the Rock Con Show on the Big and Nine. Beautiful place on earth. Sensational. And I know and that we, we won't gloat on the issue because we got a lot of news happening back in Chicago and Illinois. We won't gloat on the issue that it's uh, a balmy 72 degrees and trade winds are, are, uh, are blowing and it's very cold in Chicago. We apologize for that, but please, I warned you. <laughs> I said this when we, were, when we were offering this trip up in September. Yeah. I said this was going to happen. Mark, there were rumors if you were sick today you were going to give your seat to Oprah Winfrey. Is that true? That is correct. True? Really? That is correct. As a matter of fact, our governor, and I, I could not be more proud of our governor, that, that he's gotten such national exposure. I woke up this morning and watched Good Morning America because it comes on at like 2 o'clock in the morning here or something. I don't even know what the hell time. It's called Yesterday America. Yeah, right? I don't know. It's, it's like, right, because we're at, the, we're at the, the last part of the time zone for America. And I, it, 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 it like, Good Morning America comes on on Thursday here. And I don't, I don't know how that stories works. Before the stories have happened. I don't know how it works. But it is, it's the damnedest thing. So I'm, I'm watching this, and I see Diane Sawyer. And, and finally, somebody mopped the floor with Rod Blagojevich. Yeah. I mean, it is... And he's going to be very upset if he hears the applause for that. I'm going to say that right now. I could not believe, I mean, you know, and with, with all due respect to all the other media interviews he has done thus far, but he's done a lot of local media interviews, including, uh, you know, Donna Roma. And they did a great I, job. One of my favorite moment in this, and please, when, when, we, when we look upon this historically, my favorite moment will have been the part of the tape where he admonishes one of the people not to talk on the phone because they're listening. And he says it to him on the phone. Right. <laughs> Isn't there a moment where you stop and That's you go, hey, they're listening, but they wouldn't be listening on my phone. I'm sure they're listening right. on your phone. To me. I love that part. I love that part. And I also love what one of us wouldn't relish the moment when a president or a presidential nominee has someone say directly to us, we appreciate what you're doing for us. I mean, what a, what, what, a, what a highlight for any, any obviously any average citizen, but any politician, including the governor of Illinois. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> he was always a go-getter. He's got initiative. All right. Thank you, Ron. Listen, I know you're enjoying Hawaii. I can only hope it's so nice it's a bad hair day for you. Yes, it is. That's all frizzing with the humidity. Yes, I'm having trouble with that. Coming up, first, the WLS Weather Channel forecast. Here's Mark Thibodeau. Mark? Well, it's warm here in Hawaii, cold in Chicago. I'm Jim Johnson, the WLS. <laughs> so, uh, he's got, other than Fleetwood Mac, he's got a couple of other projects going right now. He's got a blues band. He's also got the Make Fleetwood Rumors band. And they moved you to Hawaii, where, where you uh, you centerpiece this thing. What what, what happens here? We're going to talk to Mick after uh, after four o'clock. What? Uh, how did you get the assignment to come out here? Well, I've been coming out here for about three years now to uh, to work with Mick. We've uh, got together after uh, well, about ten years of not seeing each other because I had moved away. Of course, I was a member of, the, of Fleetwood Mac for about four years and. Uh, we got to back together and in touch and started these concepts of uh, getting some other bands together to play when Mick wasn't on tour with Fleetwood Mac. 
And uh, so we formed uh, the first band, which was called the Island Rumors Band, mm-hmm. which is a combination of uh, Fleetwood Mac music from all the different eras. And uh, we also played with uh, many of the local uh, Hawaiian uh, musicians, uh, such as uh, Willie Kay and Eric Gillian, Raya and Helm, a lot of the real superstars of Hawaii. You're doing you, uh, Mick, uh, Mick Fleetwood's Private Cellar Wine. And it, it, this is really cool how so many rock stars are now doing this, because this is exactly what I would do. I'd be a rock star and then immediately move into Bittner right after <laughs> that, or, or a creator of some sort of alcoholic beverage. Are these, are these grapes that are being grown? Where, where are you actually getting these grapes from? We, we are a vineyard independent, so we, we go around the whole, the whole premise of uh, the, the wine company started seven years ago is that we have the joy of doing most, most of the, the, the wines that we've run, which are about 18 varietals in the last uh, six, nearly seven years, have come from Northern California, San Ynez and around there, a couple of blends we've done with some wine uh, um, grapes from, from Oregon. So I, I have a lot of fun uh, getting this, and I'm very hands-on with what we do. And myself and, and Rick, having, having said that, that, you know, Rick and I partnered up uh, with our whole approach to the music we want to be doing over the next uh, great many years together. Mm-hmm. And we've actually, uh, the Blue Again album, which uh, features Rick, uh, on vocals and guitar, it's a four-piece band. Uh, some of the music you've been playing, I think, in some of the segments, we we put that together and actually uh, had a wine event in St. Louis and uh, at a, a beautiful theater. And we also recorded the live album there. Wow! So it's really working. We're having not a, not like it's all the time, but it certainly is a great blend in terms of of something that marries up well. And in fact. Uh, I'm able to present uh, my wine uh, in restaurants and so forth. So it's been uh, a labor of love. Uh, yeah. It's probably quite different from a, a lot of the other celebrity wines where I really get in there and I blend the wine and I don't just stick my name on it. You know? I want to thank uh, the uh, Sheraton Maori Resort and Spa as well as our fine sponsors for uh, bringing us out here this week, Alexian Brothers Hospital Network, James and Sons Jewelers, and Apple Vacations Capture the Beauty, Unique Culture, Aloha Spirit of Hawaii. Your Apple Vacations Island experience starts with a great deal at WLSAM.com. I also want to thank for this Monday broadcast, or as I say here, Aroha. That means Monday, as far as you know. Uh, Merv Awana, mm. uh, our house band. So good. Also, back in Chicago, Mr. Ron Major from ABC7. Mick Fleetwood, mickfleetwood.com, and Rick Vito from Mick Fleetwood's Blues Band and Island Rumors. Larry Wilmore from The Daily Show and author of I'd Rather We Got Casinos and Sweet Lou Canellis. Tomorrow, Chicago's very own Morgan Mallory, Kevin Pollock will also be with us, and Christina jumps off a rock. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow, too. Good night, ladies.